Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. A lot of times, if we say tempo is the key, you think that we're talking about basketball. No. Tempo is a huge key in this game. We're going to be back at halftime. How long that takes sort of depends on who establishes its tempo. If the running team controls the way and bleeds that clock. We'll see you in just a few minutes. The passing team pitches it all over the place and runs up numbers on that scoreboard. Might be a while, but we'll still be here. Thanks for checking out the pregame show, NCAA College Football Action, coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. Stadium, and I'll tell you folks, this stadium is one of the loudest in the country, and it'll be rocking today. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. The kicker's got the ball set up, and we're ready to get this thing started. Davis takes it from the six. Tackle at the 36. Oregon's offensive staff, they really build things around this guy, and they know that they can be confident in what he can do all game long. Yeah, I think they, they trust in all of his abilities. And the big thing also is he avoids those silly mental mistakes. He, he does not line up in the wrong position. He's not going to turn the wrong way. More importantly, he's not going to miss out on a blitz on pass protection. So he's, a, he's really just a total package, very consistent, very reliable running back that this team utilizes. From their own 36-yard line. Second down. Delayed handoff, and he's not going to get back to the line. Oregon's got a guy that statistically is leading the conference right now, and he has got the attention of everybody in the country, including the coordinators. Zips it to the back. He's tackled at the 37. They couldn't get anything to work, and it will be fourth down. This is the kind of solid, consistent play you look for in your defense. Let's see if the offense can follow it up. Livingston awaiting the return. What a collision. Not great, but not bad either. As long as your main priorities are not turning the ball over and establishing solid field position, then you're heading in the right direction. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Just throws this one away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. From their own 38-yard line. Second down. Throwing right. Joseph intended to see the play. That brings us third and ten. There's a strike complete. That's a great tackle at the 45. Schmidt gained seven yards with a catch there. That brings us fourth and three. Freeman awaits the snap. Rumor 
around the corner. And he was able to pick up some nice yards on the return. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. Big opening. Nice run there. The Ducks have one of the most dangerous offensive weapons in the entire country under center today. This kid is really fun to watch. He's fun to watch unless you're a defensive coordinator. One thing's for sure, it's going to be a great chess match between the offensive and defensive coordinators today. Here's an opening. He's taken down at the 46. You talk about a dual threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. He's at the 30. They'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. Fires quickly, and he's got his man, and he's taken down around the 8-yard line. Second down, goal to go. Ball on the eight-yard line. Touchdown, Oregon! And he hits the PAT. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. Let's take a look at some scores from around the country. And for Denman, he is on fire. Four touchdown passes now. The Wildcats have the lead, 38-20, midway through the fourth quarter. In other games, the Bulldogs were ranked 18. They hope this victory will push them even higher. This game was so tight, every play seemed to be of the utmost importance. The Bulldogs take it by four. That's good stuff, Reese. Thank you. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. Looking for the corner. He finally goes down at the 44. There was great blocking up front there, and that turned into a pretty good return. You know, the kick coverage looks very slow in getting downfield, and that really gave this young man an opportunity to make a play. Pitch out. He's at the 30. Tackle right around the 18-yard line. Tackle made at the 22-yard line. That's a great play by the defense. There's nothing like a defense being able to slip off of a block get into the backfield of the offense, and then make a play in the backfield to be able to create some momentum, possibly, for this defense. Second down, 13 yards to go. Ball of the 22. He flings it. Fires quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. was a well-drawn-up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. You know, if a quarterback has a strong arm, one of his favorite routes is the post. But I thought the quarterback did a really good job here of using his eyes to move the safety, to open up that void in the defense, and then he made the good throw to the receiver for the touchdown. He makes the PAT. 
So a short three play 45 yard drive and they come away with seven points. We get a tie game at 7-7. Looks like they're ready for the kick from the five yard line. He makes it out to maybe the 29 yard line. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. That was a loss of four yards. That makes it second and 14. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. Slings it. Short over the middle. And they make the stop, the 37 yard line. Lamb is the punter. <laughs> Livingston fields it at the 26. They'll bring him down at the 34-yard line. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. He's at midfield. He gets hit out of bounds at the 42-yard line. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. Gains his way to the 30-yard line. So at the end of one quarter, we're even at seven in this one. Welcome back. Tight game here in the second quarter as we begin play. Wide out makes the first down catch. And he shoved out of bounds at the 14. First down. right around the 16-yard line. The thing about the option is you're going to have some negative plays, but if you keep running it, it'll create some big play opportunities. Second down and 11. Ball on the 16-yard line. Here's a run up the gut, but nothing going there. it out brought down around the four yard line on third and long they get the first down but was it close close or not what a relief it is to the quarterback to have a new set of downs to work with And he adds the extra point. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. The Bears had the final spot in the poll at number 25. Unfortunately, that didn't last long. And for Baylor, they've dropped two straight. Denman, savvy in the passing game, was the difference. He tossed four touchdown passes. The Wildcats get the W, 38-20. Touchdown difference in this one, Reese, 14-7. They line up to kick this one away. 
Number six, deep to return. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 28-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. And he's stopped behind the line. Really good play here in run support by the linebacker. The big guys up front took away the running lanes, and he was able to get through for a loss. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on the 25-yard line. Here he goes. Runs it right. Nice pickup. That makes it 37. Had protection, now scrambles. And he's tackled at the 34. That makes it fourth and four. Lamb is waiting for the snap. And he muffed it. Whoa, he just took a licking. That's a tough break. Whether you lose the ball or not, it can mess with your head when that happens. Well, at least for now, the crisis was averted and they keep control of the ball. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Five wide. And he just gets rid of it. It's second and ten. Ball on the 31. Washington is up by a touchdown. He fights forward to about the 33. To his tight end for a first down. He's tackled at the 47. That's a team 14 yards on the play. First down. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. Black 25. And look 48. Yeah. 99. He fights forward to around midfield. at the 40. Caught enough for the first down. Breaks one. And they push him out at the 30-yard line. That makes it first and 10. It's first and 10. Ball on the 30-yard line. Going for it all to the end zone. Touchdown, Huskies. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. run and he's brought down they got a few yards there but they need to be thinking bigger right now Oregon's gonna take their first time out of the hat hey, watch the ball, watch second the ball. and five ball on the 31 yard line 
He's going to try and scramble. He's to the 40. Slides down to the ground. Well, this is a nice run for the first down by this quarterback. Concentration to pull it in. He's taken down around the 41 yard line. What a play. Boy, a solid job there by the quarterback, recognizing the defensive coverage and delivering the ball to the open receiver. Quick strike to the back, no good. The quarterback's dialed in so much on the coverage and looking downfield. By the time he came over to find his running back, he just misfired. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. That's a great tackle at the 31. Quick strike to the receiver. They'll bring him down at the 15. Perfect timing here between the quarterback and the wide receiver. That's a big gain and more than enough for the first down. First and 10. Ball on the 15. Quick throw to the tight end. And he's taken down at the 10-yard line. He's on the run. Tackle at the 10. No game on the play. That will bring up 34. Check 37. Check 37. Finds the tight end for a touchdown. give each of these guys credit for getting in sync, really fighting to create that touchdown. And he converts the extra point. Oregon ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 22. Washington's dreams are a reality in this football game. They've scored 21 points in a row. They got into the end zone last time. Let's see if they can match that on this possession. Well, I think this defense has got to do something because right now the quarterback is in such a good rhythm that you've got to do something to try to get him out of it. I would suggest trying to bring more pressure. Try to come up with an exotic blitz look to try to get him on his heels as opposed to being the aggressor and attacking the defense. Picks up about nine on the scramble. The Huskies taking their first time out of the half. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Washington is up a score. Tackle made at the 35-yard line. The Huskies call a timeout. That's their second of the half. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five-wide receiver set. He goes downtown, and they make the stop right around the 20. Now he's scrambling. The 10. Diving for extra yardage. Great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. Washington's out of timeouts. Right, hoping to double their lead here as they close in on the goal line. He gets it up, and he's got it. Certainly not what we expected as we head to halftime. Washington's got a 10-point lead.
Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. When you don't give up any sacks and neither team dead in the first half, the offensive line gets a lot of credit and deservedly so. Quarterbacks also deserve some credit for that. They get rid of the football on time, yep. throw it away when they need to. But a lot of times they're doing it because they don't really feel any heat from the defense. Yeah, and, and defensively, you got to be able to see that. And if it's a three-step drop, then all you can do is get your hands up, try to deflect footballs. And if you're in the, in the if you're in the middle and you're a defensive tackle, try to push that guard as much as you can. So when that quarterback steps up, he has to step into somebody. Or how about you make them move and get outside of the pocket? You know, especially the blind side. The blind side of the quarterback. We always talk about that guy. You know, in the NFL, making all the money. A lot of times, you can take more risk. You can come inside on a pass rush or come outside side because the quarterback can't see you so some way shape or form they got to start making sure that they make him uncomfortable and get some pressure on him. I can only hope that Nestler and Herb Street will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I have brought to the halftime show. Of course they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. And we welcome you back to the action here, just about set for the second half. Gathered in at the six. Tackle at the 25. Washington's game plan couldn't have imagined things to go this well. They've scored 24 points in a row. We're about set to start things up again. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. It's an intelligent play by the defender. All you have to do sometimes is get your hand on the ball. From their own 25-yard line, second down. They come out in a five-wide set. Gets it. He's in space. And down he goes at the 41-yard line. Pope makes the tackle at the 41-yard line. Come that on, makes, that it makes it first and ten. ten. See what you got. Hey, alert 48. Hey, They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Hey. Got a man. Watch out here. Brought down at the 49-yard line. That's a game of 10 on the play. That'll make it second and inches. I got you. I got you, son. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Quick pass. He's knocked out of bounds. The 39-yard line. First down. Larry, Larry. He's out. Hey, alert 48. Hey, come back to 48. Right now, let's go. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Second and ten. Ball on the 39-yard line. And a quick throw. And he is drilled at the 29-yard line. First down. out to about the 21 yard line that's a game of eight on the play that makes it second and two four down four down hey look 48 hey come back to 48 right now let's go nice run there that's a, game. That's a game of six on the play that, that makes, makes it first and ten, ten. After a decent run up the gut. That makes it second and six. Throws it out and it goes nowhere.
It's the 11th play of the drive. They keep it on the ground and a great tackle right there. It's fourth down. They'll line it up for the field goal. The kick is up, and it's through the uprights. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He's to the 20. At the 30. The 50. He finally goes down at the 38. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And he's tackled at about the 29-yard line. That brings in second and nine. And they'll get him in the backfield. But you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run. That'll bring up third and two. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup, come out a bit more motivated next time. Roger, Roger. They'll spread the field with five wide. Now he tries to buy some time. He's tackled at the 27-yard line. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. He's out of bounds at about the 21. Makes it out to about the 10. Here's the eighth play of the series. They'll drop in for a loss. Quickly to the tailback. He's taken down at about the three yard line. That's good for yards. That brings up fourth and three. So at the end of the third quarter, Washington leads it 27 14.
Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Finds a man, touchdown. So he found his receiver for the score. And the closer you get to the end zone, the more difficult it becomes to throw the football because the field becomes much smaller to work with. But they did a very nice job there to come up with the touchdown. You talk about a clutch play. They couldn't afford any mistakes on fourth down there. So they're going to try to determine if the receiver had possession and was inbounds or not. So after some discussion, the call on the field stands. He makes the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Schmidt from the five. He's out to the 30. They'll bring him down at the 47. The Huskies have been rolling on offense, and they look at the scoreboard, and it's still a tight ball game. I can't believe that this is still a close game. As you said, they, they had such a huge advantage, and yet it's a tight game. They've just blown too many opportunities. A score here might effectively end this one. Washington with a six-point lead. Nice run up the middle. Gets out to around the 38. That's good for a game of eight yards. That makes it first and ten. Man left, man left. Gains his way to the 30-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. They'll knock him down for a loss. It's third and five. Ball on the 32. Nice run, and he's brought down. Man, it's always a plus if you're able to pick up the first down with the running game. Bring him down at the 22-yard line. Gains his way to the 10-yard line. First down. Washington is up by six. Up the middle for a nice game. That'll bring up second and three. Rose to the receiver, got it for the touchdown. And they're looking to get two points here. I got you. I got you. 117, 117. 
Fires out to his wideout. He's got the two. They line up to kick this one away. He's to the 20. Across the 30. Brought down at the 35. The offense will take the field, and they've been moving the ball very well on their last couple of drives. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Out of bounds at the 36-yard line. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. He scrambled. Tackle at about the 37-yard line. Seven-yard line. Caught with room to work. And they push him out at about the 45. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Throws a dart to the right. Benson's intended receiver on the play. Third down. Hey, right, tight right. Go down, go down. Tins the mic. Tins the mic. He's out. Tackle made to the 38 yard line. I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Had protection, now scrambles. And they make the stop at the 36. Just over a minute left. Has all day to throw. Throws it. He gets another, and this is a big one. Spectacular play, and now it's first and goal. I love to see this quarterback respond when this offense really needs him to pick him up. Your quarterback's performance on third down is vital to your team's success. Here they go. First and goal, down by a couple of possessions. And down he goes at the three-yard line. Oregon's going to have to use their second time out of the half. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. And he converts the extra point.
Michael at the 36-yard line. Brad, this is my kind of game. I love seeing this kind of production and the way these quarterbacks are playing. Both teams are challenging both of these defenses. The whistle hasn't sounded yet. They still have to snap the ball and make sure they don't make any mistakes. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. Favorite play in football of your quarterback. Take a knee. Oregon will take their final timeout. Second down and 12. Ball on the 39. Under a minute left. He takes a knee, looking to take some time off that clock. should do it. Our final tally in this one. Washington 35, Oregon 28. As we finish up the broadcast, what do you have to say about how this game turned out, Kirk? I was impressed with both teams out there, but the difference in this game came down to execution and playing mistake-free football. Oregon had a lot of chances in this one, but a number of costly mistakes squandered those opportunities. Eliminate the errors, and this one could have gone the other way. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.